Baby, I don't really know what you want to Maybe you can show me what you can do Or we can turn up if you want to Dance all night if you want to Drinks all night if you want to Change your whole life for me gone to Make you feel nice for me gone to Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It's your girl Pink Sims And I am back again today With another tutorial video all right, so for today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recolor clothes in The Sims 4. Now, I will not be going into detail as into how to retexture or how to add a different pattern to the clothing in The Sims 4. I'm just going to be doing this for the beginners, for the base, basic stuff on how to just change the color if you're dissatisfied. All right, guys, so in order for you to be able to recolor clothes in The Sims 4, there are a few tools that you're gonna need. All right, first, you're gonna need The Sims 4 game. <laughs> They're also gonna need Adobe Photoshop because that's what I use. And you also need Sims 4 Studio. Now, I will link in the description box below where you can download these applications. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to recolor items or clothing options that we already have in The Sims 4. So the first step, is that you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna either click on the shortcut on your desktop or you can if you have it pinned you can also open it here so I'm gonna go ahead and open Sims 4 studio so once you have Sims 4 studio open you're gonna go here if you're gonna be using base game or other pack clothing you just go here and you select cr create 3d mesh then you're gonna click on cast and it's going to load up all the clothing that is in the game. Now, if you're, you can also be specific. So, if you know you want to recolor a top for a toddler or recolor a top for female or adult sim, you're going to go here. The species is already selected to human. You're going to select... I'm going to do a female top today. So, we're going to select female, age, adult, and part type top. You can also decide which game pack you want to recolor the item from. Or if you, let's not go over here for right now. This is for when we're doing the second bit of the tutorial. But you can change the game pack. You can keep it base game. Or you can pick something from one of the packs. Or leave it on all and you'll see all your options of recolor. So I'm just going to scroll and try and find something. And I'm just going to pick a top and we're just going to recolor it. Something simple. A few moments later. Alright, so here we are. I decided to recolor something from the cottage living pack because i just absolutely adore the clothing that comes with the pack so uh, advice word of advice to recolor it's best to choose a color that is closer to white just because the, the app will find it easier to recolor it when it's closer to white so you can either choose if the option if they don't have a white option you can choose the next best thing which is tan or cream or a lighter brown but we do have the white so we're gonna go ahead with this top right here you just simply click on the top and then you're going to click on next. It's going to ask you to save the package file somewhere. But for tutorial purposes, you're just going to save this package file to your desktop. So just select desktop over here. So we're going to name it tutorial. You can name it anything you want. You can save it anywhere, but just so you're able to delete this package file after, just save it to your desktop. So you're going to click on that save button and then this is going to load and show you the the top now i don't have a mouse at this moment so i'm using my touchpad so in order to zoom in on your touchpad you're just gonna pinch the touchpad and it brings you closer if you want to rotate the sim to see all aspects of the sim like the back or the front then you would simply right click on your touchpad and then you're gonna scroll to go around so you're gonna hover in this area right here you're going to click on the right clicker on your touchpad and you're just gonna keep doing that in order to rotate and see all around the sim you can also scroll down to see the top or scroll up to see the bottom all right the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna click on export you're gonna leave the texture as is which says diffuse you don't need to pay attention to these options just yet once you get here i've already showed you how to rotate the sim you're gonna go ahead and export this texture and what it means by exporting is literally what you see over here we're gonna export this as a png and we're gonna save it preferably to our desktop so that we can edit it in photoshop so we're gonna click on that export button and i'm gonna name it 
white top base you don't you can name it anything you want but this is just for organizational purposes i'm going to name it white top base it's a png file i'm going to save it to my desktop this is where we're going to open it in photoshop now let me just minimize this here you can do this one of two ways you can open photoshop drag it and drop it into photoshop or you can right click on it and you can open with and select photoshop that's the method that i'm going to be using today all right so once it opens in photoshop this is what it's going to look like let me just tell you something real quick you could have also opened photoshop prior you could have clicked on file open locate the file on your desktop and it would have opened just like this now what i'm gonna do is now as you can see the clothing is a bit farther away so i kind of want to go up a bit closer so i'm gonna select control on my keyboard and also the plus icon over by the numpad to your right and that's gonna zoom in all right that's how i zoom in using photoshop you can press the minus to zoom out or the plus to zoom in once you zoom in you release the control you're gonna scroll over to here and you just scroll down so you can see the clothing better all right so if you have no prior experience in photoshop do not worry because I will be showing you what to do step by step. So you don't even have to worry if you don't understand what all these shenanigans mean. Alright, so now for step... I don't know what step we are. For the next step, which is step 3 I believe. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the left hand corner. And this is a fourth icon I believe. It's the magic tool. You're going to click on it. If you, if for example, you don't see the magic tool, you can hover over the icon here and you can right click and it gives you several options. But the one that we're going to be using is the magic tool. So once you have it on that and the magic tool is selected, which it shows at the top right here, you're going to go ahead and hover over the clothing. All right. And you're going to click on it. As you can see, there are some patches here and there, which means that everything that I just clicked on was not selected. Now you can select control. I'm making sure that you guys are not confused and I don't miss any steps. So if you see me going into detail a little bit, don't be scared. It's just so that if something goes wrong, you're completely covered. So I've selected everything, right? But now I want to deselect because I realize that it doesn't cover all of what I want. So I'm going to select control and D simultaneously on the, key the keyboard and it's going to deselect everything great now up here this is just one more thing that you need to know if i've lost you anywhere i'm sorry i will go over again at the end of the video a little shorter synopsis and hopefully you will get it all right so like i said once you've opened the clothing to photoshop you've used Control plus and you've zoomed in you go over to the magic tool over here and the next thing you're going to do is select the clothing but it wasn't selecting everything so this is where we are this right here is the tolerance and this specifies like how much of something you want to select if you have a low tolerance then if there's a little range in color like this is white and this is like a little darker white then it'll pick up the difference and only select that portion if you select a high tolerance it means that there's less difference so if you have something that has like three different shades of white, if they're close enough, it's going to select everything in that vicinity. So I'm going to change the tolerance here. Usually we keep it at 50, but for this purpose, since I'm just recoloring, I'm going to change it to, let's, let's not be extra. Let's go to 70 and then you just press enter. It's now at 70 and you click on the coding again. As you can see, almost everything is now covered. Um, let me give you a little tip as well and then we are done with selecting <laughs> <We're> almost done <laughs> you're going to select shift you're going to hold on to shift on the keyboard don't let it go and the little spots that you see within here that you want to cover as well you're just going to click closer on the area and it will automatically just start selecting everything there so that's holding on to shift now that we've covered that oh my god this seems like a long video i'm hoping i'm not losing anybody just reiterating that so we've selected all of the item here the next step is for us to go over to image at the top once everything is selected you go to image at the top you get a drop down menu you're gonna go to adjustments and you're gonna go to hue and saturation and this is where the magic happens 
this is where you recolor the top if you like it pink blue orange yellow green but you like it pastel we're gonna go with pastel purple today i think the game already has a pastel purple let's go with bright blue today you can click on colorize let me show you what that does you click on colorize and now it allows you to make further adjustments to the color that are a little bit more specific so if i scroll over to purple now it'll definitely show as purple and you can change it to light purple to bright purple and if it is that you want like a darker shade of purple you can go down to here i i think you guys are getting the picture so the hue is definitely for what color you want on this wheel red purple blue aqua green yellow or red or orange just actually orange and then the saturation is how bright you want the color do you want it to be pastel light or do you want it to be like vibrant rich and then the lightness now it just further brings it to um closer to black or closer to white now we said we wanted was it light purple or bright purple we're gonna go with we're gonna go with bright purple because i don't think the game has a bright purple so you select purple here you select the darker saturation and you bring it closer to black and then all you have to do now is press on ok and as you can see the color the top has been recolored now to, you're going to deselect again so you're going to select Control and d no longer highlighted now we're going to export it N not export it now we're going to save it after you finish your recolor you're going to go ahead and you're going to go over to file you're going to select export quick export as png because if you guys remember when we had exported the item from sims 4 studio we export it as a png so we're going to put it on the desktop again as a png so quick export as png and you're going to save it as, as blah, blah, blah. and you're going to save it as whatever you want so we're going to save it as one and click that save button now it is on the desktop as one you're going to go back to sims 4 studio we're gonna we're gonna do two colors today because I feel like some of you might want to add more than one colors to one top, and I don't I don't think we need a separate video for that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select on import. Then we're gonna locate the item wherever we saved it. For me, it's the desktop. You click on it and you select open, and voila, you now have a purple top, and it looks it looks perfect, perfect, perfect recolor, you guys now we're gonna actually also add red i actually like red we're gonna do red and we're also gonna do a darker black because you know the sims 4 does not know black so let's add a swatch and add a swatch that's what you're gonna do select on add swatch here now all it's gonna do is duplicate the purple so every all of the swatches here are purple right and that's when you add the swatches then you're gonna select on swatch 2 you're gonna go back to photoshop We're gonna go back into sims 4 studio we're gonna we're already selected to number two but if you are number one you need to come off because if you accidentally import a number one you've completely replaced the purple which if you still have it on your desktop you can just bring it back but click on two select import click on red open now the second one is red then you select on three import you get the black and you open it here there you go and this this is what you call black you guys yes so now we have three recolors we have purple red and black now real quick i want to actually change the swatch thumbnail and this is what shows up in your game okay when you click on the, on the clothing item you see color options down below this is how you change it you're gonna hover over this what is this color gray you can click on it and choose a range of colors or to make it easier you can right click this box you get a dropper tool you bring it over to the clothing and you click on it and that's how you get the exact color of the swatch that you have 
now these additional boxes if you have a multicolored item you do the same thing you right click and you click on the different colors and that's how the swatch has multiple colors wonderful let's just delete that back we don't need that so let's delete it then we're gonna go on the red we're gonna right click we're gonna go over to the blouse click on the blouse change it to red same thing for the black swatch awesome sauce and that's how we do it now if y'all are wondering what this is over here this is what shows up in the game you know, like when you see the tops in the sims 4 in the game but if you don't put something there if you don't take a picture in game and then save it to here it's just a png file you guys so once you have a anything saved as png you let me just show you if i click on import just to show you and there's a picture here any picture at all once it's in png it'll show up here we don't want that because that's obviously not a good picture but it would show up here now if you, you accidentally put something you don't want just click on the clear button and it goes away if you don't have a picture here it's going to show up in game as the same wearing this the first swatch that you have which is purple i'm going to show you guys in a minute because i'm going to load up the game but as you can see here i ticked it and what we're going to do next is we're going to select file save as and i'm going to save it as cottage living recolor top recolor because i'm extra like that so top recolor and then you're gonna go locate your mods folder so my mods folder is i just slapped my chest my mods folder is somewhere else so i'm gonna go there but everybody majority everybody else's mods folder is is electronic arts this documents electronic arts the sims for your mods folder okay I could still do it that way i think so documents electronic arts the sims 4 mods folder great we're in the mods folder now i have a special folder for all the cc that i create so i'm going to select pink sims clothes and we're going to save it here it's now known as cottage living top recolor i'm going to hit that save button and now it is auto it says your package has been saved so now it is automatically in my game i'm going to now exit sims 4 studio and i'm also going to exit photoshop and i'm not going to save this all right you guys so the next time you see me i'm going to be in game and i'm just going to show you guys what it looks like in game all right you guys so we are back in game we are in game <laughs> and now i'm just showing you guys that it worked okay just to show you guys so y'all see that you know my method works so we're here with Amina Gomez and we're going to be using her to demonstrate the top thing. So we're going to select custom content here. It is going to automatically become a custom content once you edit it because it's custom. So you're going to go to top. Um, you're going to do content, custom content here. And then you're going to search for it a little longer than a few minutes later guys we found it guys we found it oh my gosh after several days you were lucky enough and fortunate enough to locate the top as you can see the custom content wrench icon is here and the college living item is right here so we're going to click on it and show you guys the magic and that is the magic the top is recolored in a bright oh my god y'all i have on my filter that's actually what the color the top looks like i'm so sorry so we have the purple top here as you can see perfect recolor and as usual you change the swatches like you see like you like i showed you guys this is how you change it to red and black this black this is black. this black is lit and this is the black you guys so that is how you do it that is how you successfully recolor clothing present in the game okay and now we're gonna move on to part two how to recolor custom content i'll see you guys in a bit